In this video, you will learn how to tell time. One of the challenges faced with telling time is that students see a particular number and they are made to say another. For instance, when the minute hand is on 2, they are made to say 10 past. This and many more are unrelatable to the average learner. Which is why we'll use this tool. Let's start by labeling this clock a lot of times we call it the long hand and the short hand but let's call it by its real name the long hand is called the minute hand while the short one is called the r hand where the minute hand is pointed determines the minutes past or two this clock was divided into two equal parts two and past when the minute hand is here, it is that minute past that aha. Uh -huh. When it's here, it is that minute to that particular hour. The minutes were written out on the clock for better understanding. So you have 5 minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, and so on in analog. Let's try out an example. The minute hand is pointed at 1, while the hour hand is pointed at 6. That's 5 minutes, 5 minutes past, because it's on this side of the clock, past 6 o'clock. That's the analog. Let's tell the time in digital. You open it up to have another figure. That means there are two layers. This is 05. That's 605. You move it to another one. That's. Let's have the minute and here. The minute and is pointed at 4. That's 20 minutes. So that's 20 minutes past 8 o'clock. The digital time is 8.20. You open it up to seven seven let's take the one all right so what's the time will you try it you can pause the video and try that the minute and is currently on seven while the hour and is between 12 and 1 meaning it's moving from 12 to 1 o'clock all right so this is 25 minutes two one that's the analog time let's consider the digital time that is 12 why are we using 12 and not one because it's moving from 12 to one it's not your one so that's 12 12 35 that's the time in digital format all right so clock moves clockwisely from here and it goes on like this same with the r and both r and minute and move clockwisely so you can never have this kind of movement so when you are moving don't move this way you should always move this way never this way okay it's also important to remember that when the second hand which is not here when it moves when it does a complete movement it makes one minute one minute what when the minute and moves from this place up to this place we have one hour and that's why 60 seconds equals one minute while 60 minutes equals one hour it's also important to note that the minutes the minute of each of these numbers is multiples of five so you can see five ten fifteen twenty and so on all right uh, especially when you consider the digital time which is why we'll use another one this material is made of paper we can use this material made of foam board or plastic all right so rather than you know for the when we're using the paper clock we opened up to see the digital time for the plastic or the 
foam board material we are going to check the back so for instance you have a you have 20 minutes to 11 right here and that's 10 40. so if you check the time if you check the digital time you'd realize that there are multiples of 5 5 10 15 20 25 30 35 40 45 50 55 okay hope you understand your clock with this simple explanation if you want to get any of those clocks you can click lifematics.com.ng shop thank you